Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and I have a trunk club. It is not open yet, so I'm going to do that right now so that the items will be out here and you don't have to listen to all the rough soul of the paper and plastic. Okay, so I have my items unpacked and my first statement, I first impression was that uh, Amazon and Nordstrom <laughs> must have colluded in the whole color choice things because they are similar, uh, a couple of pieces at least. Okay, so the first item up on here is a pair of jeans by Madewell. They are called the, the Curvy Perfect Vintage Jeans in White for $128. They're kind of off-white to my way of thinking, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let me see if they have stretch to them. They do have some stretch. They look very authentic in denim, you know, they don't even look like stretchy jeans. They are not a skinny leg, but they're a straight leg. Yeah, interesting there. I think they might be a little sheer for my taste. I don't like it when you can like see your underwear through it because that also means you see every bump and lump you have, but we'll give it a try and we'll see. All right, so next is from Cut, cut From The Cloth is a pair of white shorts. They're called the Catherine Boyfriend Denim Shorts. They're $69 in white in size 20W. Didn't I just have these a couple months ago? Seems like seems like I have these jeans or these uh, shorts. I'll have to go look. Two pocket back. Yeah, these are definitely denim. Uh, yeah, but stretch, which is nice for plus size. And even if you're not plus size, they're comfortable that way. All right, now these, let me see if these pants have stretch. Not really. Okay. So these are more traditional vintage wide leg jeans. Did I say this? Yeah, I did say the cut from the cloth one. Uh, okay, so these are the perfect vintage wide leg crop jean by Madewell in blue for $128. So same price as the white ones. So, okay, so they have a wide leg that's cropped. You know, I think I had some of these before that I tried on and I may have sent back because I just couldn't quite get used to them. <laughs> seems like a fall item. All right, so here's something that reminds me of what I got from Amazon, these colors. Okay, this is by Madewell as well. <laughs> There's a lot in here. It is the Plus Courier, well, no, this can't be it. Yeah, they call this pink. I don't think so. It's the Plus Courier Pentuck Back Shirt in Textured Window Panes. Yeah, it is pictured in the back in pink for $75. Okay, so it's the traditional Madewell shirt, you know, this sleeve that I, they see on so many of theirs. Yeah, I'm not crazy for this. I'll try it on, but I'm really not crazy for it. And it's definitely in a rust color. All right, so next is by Halogen. And it is a top, very stretchy top. Uh, it's a faux wrap, I think. No, it's a real wrap. Yeah, it's a real wrap. It's nice. It's a little dressier than what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I do have black shorts, but they're not dressy black shorts. Uh, I do have still have some black dress, uh, dress pants from when I was working. Let's see what this says. Who did I say this was by? Halogen. <laughs> so, Halogen. It's called a wrap top in ivory. It's $49. If I was working, I might keep this, uh, but I don't know. I don't know how much wear I'd get out of it now. All right, so next is something by CC. Oh, it is a poly top, polyester top. It also has those pin tucks, only they're in the front this time. Can you see them? Fluttery sleeves, cute design, high neck kind of. Not a fabric I'm crazy about. Uh, something like I say I would might have worn to work, but not sure I would wear it a lot now in my life. Uh, by CC, huh? It, okay, pin tuck, flutter sleeve, blouse, and black, sixty-nine dollars. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like a sixty-nine dollar blouse to me, but it is cute. So we'll see if it lays like a sixty-nine dollar blouse. All right. So next is a dress by City Chic. I have had this dress before, not this pattern, but this cut more than once. They've done this 
many times where they see this the way the front is cut it's like got these two things and then kind of like a modesty panel or something and then the big belt and then a full skirt yes I've had it I may still have one in my closet I'm not sure but I like this one a lot better the fabric is nicer than other um, city chics. I've always wondered why they were so expensive because the ones I got sometimes I didn't think the fabric was warranted it to really be that expensive. But this one is quite a bit nicer. This is the French Boutique sleeveless dress in black for $99. Yeah. So we'll try that on. I don't know that I need it, but we'll try it on. <laughs> All right, so next is by Eleven Honor, and it is a uh, shirt dress. And it has some kind of tie thing that looks like rope. But yeah, it's a shirt dress. White. It's cute. I don't know if I need it, but it's cute. Eleven Honor. Uh, Aminia Cotton Poplin Midi Shirt Dress for $198. I noticed that when, you know, when you get a Nordstrom box, you have a preview of your item. And uh, I think I had a preview of another box that's upcoming or something. Anyway, I think shirt dresses must be coming in because I've seen them pop up for me. Maybe it was in the pre-order thing where you can pick stuff out or something. All right, so last item is also by Shitty City Chic. It is called the Nouveau Linen Belinda Line Dress in red for $129. So this is called red, but to me this is mauve, dusty rose, whatever. I do like the silhouette of it. I'm not too crazy about the color. This really isn't my color. These muted grayed out colors are not always great on me. So yeah, they're not it's not my favorite color, but I do like the silhouette and the cut of it, and it's got a big thick skirt. I think I'm going to love it as a dress and wish it was in a different color. So, oh, one more item. Silly me, how can I forget? There's a pair of shoes in here, and they are Dolce Vita. And let's see what they look like. They look small. Wow. Okay, so they are these bands of something. Yeah, I don't usually wear a lot of heels. This is a big chunky one. Maybe I could wear it. I don't know. I'm pretty clumsy. And let's see. These are called the Priana Sandal in brown. They're $130. They seem pretty well made. I don't know how comfortable they would be, but I will give them a try and see if I kind of tip over or not. Kind of like the camera's doing. I can't might get that camera straight today. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with the try on. Okay, so first item in my trunk club that I've tried on is the shirt dress. With the rope. <laughs> yeah, it's not flattering. <laughs> it's fairly comfy, I guess. It's a shirting material. It's got big pockets. Nicely placed. Um, it's pretty sheer. Like You can see my undies and my bra, I'm sure. You can definitely see the why well, you don't wear white under white, you wear beige. Because um, you can see the pockets, just a big... Yeah, I don't think this does anything for me, so let's go to the next item. So next are a pair of shorts and this Madewell top. I'll just back up. Alright, so these white shorts. These are nice. I like them. I have recently bought two pair of white shorts, so I don't know that I need them. <laughs> Virtually no droop, really. Not really. Me. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit. They are pulled up just above my belly button. But yeah, I do like them. They have quite a bit of stretch. They might stretch out when you're wearing them, actually. Uh, the top, it's very loose. It's very, I guess it's supposed to be oversized. Otherwise, it's too big. Uh, it does, the fabric is interesting. And it has a texture, and I like the feel of it. It's very cottony. Um, I do like the fabric, the color. I don't know. Yeah, kind of iffy on the color. It looks fall colors. But I've just, I never look good in dolmany things. See, see how anything with a dolman sleeve and that cut, it's just, they look sloppy on me, to me, and they always look unflattering on the arms. So, I don't think I'm full on this. So, let's go try 
something else. Okay, so the polyester top is just a polyester top. Uh, medium quality polyester, I would say. Um, it's cute. It's very cute. It does have the high neck, which I'm not crazy for. Um, but it's cute. It's got all of this here and this. and Yeah, it's cute. And it's not real long. And that brings me to the pants. Because I have a lot of crotch drop here. Because these pants... I don't know if they could be more ill-fitted. <laughs> they just, they're a little tight right here, which will give a weird look sometimes, although it's not giving me the Jasper look. But they got this droop and the pockets in the back. Let's see. I don't know how close I can get to you. Um, the pockets in way down here. They don't even feel even. This one feels higher. You tell me where my butt ends about here, <laughs> you know. So I don't know, maybe in their way up, I don't know. I, yeah, they're kind of tight here, a little bit in the calves, very loose in the ankles. Yeah, I don't know. I just think they're just an ill fit for me completely. Yeah, um, I initially said that I would see this as a top, like if I, if I had this, I would have worn to work with black trousers, that kind of thing. Although I don't think it looks that bad. With these jeans if the jeans fit right and because the, sh the top is a little short it's you know above the crotch line it sh would show if I wasn't wearing something that fit well there probably meant more to tuck in maybe I don't know. look at the back of the top I don't think I should do that so anyway yeah the top is cute pants are absolutely no fit <laughs> all right let's see what else is in the box okay either I've got the wrong size dress Two, I've gained a whole ton of weight. Or three, <laughs> City Chic has scrimped on the sizing on this dress because this is too tight for me. It's cute. My husband says, oh, it looks really nice. It fits well. Yeah, from the front, it looks that way. <laughs> but in the back, I don't know if you can tell, this thing is tight. Really tight. Should be able to see there that it's too tight. Yeah, I better check the size on it because it does not feel right. Uh, it doesn't really say on here the size. Yeah, it's a cute dress. Um, I've had the same style twice before that I've kept. It just has a little, so that's nice in the belt. Um, one of them I believe I still have. The other one I got rid of because this has a nice full skirt, by the way. Um, one of them I got rid of because, actually I got rid of both of them. One of them was a nice quality fabric. The other one really wasn't. It pilled right away and stuff. But anyway, um, one of them I got, no, I might still have one. Anyway, long and short of it is, this dress they've made in lots of fabrics, and how this dress wears and looks is all dependent on which fabric they chose to, to make. Now, there's a lot of fabric up here because this is lined, um, so it feels substantial. This is pretty lightweight. I would think that they could make a much nicer quality of this dress if they put a, a liner in it. It's okay the way it is. I'm not saying that it's not okay, but I think it would look even better if it had, you know, another layer. Even if it just, you know, wasn't all the way down or... But anyway, but it's cute. Um, it's too tight. I would never keep this dress. Okay, so if you're like me and you like I topped to have just a little more modesty. This is one you'll have to either wear something under it, pen it, or keep an eye on it. It is a true wraparound, and this just doesn't look right. I don't know. Maybe I've got it tied wrong. Maybe it should have just come to the front, but what I just took them both to the back, pulled them around, and wanted to tie them, but one end was so short, I had to move the tie over here to make it work. I'd open it and show you, but I'm afraid it'll... <laughs> So this hangs down lower than this, which I don't mind that at all. I think that's the style of it. And the sleeves. It's very comfy soft. It's uh, almost like a t-shirt. This looks weird because the jeans have a humongous gap, as you can see. So that's affecting how this lays. I think this is a cute top. I don't know where I would wear it because it was something that I think of as I don't know, work or dressy or something and being retired. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is where this one comes out here. Goes through this thing, but it comes from here. And then this one, where did this come from? Oh, it came from that direction. So it does go to the back to make it work. 
And yeah, they just, and you can see when I pull them, this has hardly any, and this has everything. So it's gotta be tied on the side, or maybe even in the back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so get this thing out of the way, and uh, let's talk about the pants. These are jeans made by Madewell. They're a little better fit than the other one, not much in the way of crotch droop, a little bit. They are nice and loose thighs and legs. <laughs> Stepping on a dog, Chewy. Uh, but they are, um, what do you call it? The wide leg thing, uh, which is okay. Although I would prefer it if they were a little shorter like that. I mean, I guess you could roll them up. But yeah, I think they're kind of long for that. And I have long legs, so yeah, if they were more like this length or something, I think they'd be more like something I would wear. This length just looks like they're too short for me or something. It's just an odd length. Maybe if you had heels. I don't know. Not crazy for them. They're pretty heavy denim. They're pretty substantial. They don't have much in the way of stretch. They're like true denim. They're heavy. Again, though, like in the white ones, these pockets. I mean, here's my butt, okay? My butt ends right here. These pockets are below that. I like my pockets in like right here. <laughs> so anyway, okay, another dress with modesty issues. <laughs> this dress is too tight too, right through here. Yeah, the uh, City Chic did turn out to be an 18, a medium 18, uh, and maybe that's what this is too. But both of them kind of were a little tight in the same area, right through here, lower back. To waste, I'm putting on these shoes. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> see, I'm already starting to fall. Um, it doesn't fit right, which it's kind of a relief because I think the dress is adorable, the style and cut of it, everything of it is cute. It's linen. There are a lot of things I like about it, but the color is something that I can't wear that well. And I don't want to be swayed into thinking, oh, well, I can wear that. Yeah, here it is with the shoes. I think the shoes probably are really cute with it. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I'm so far from the camera, I can't tell. Um, yeah, and it's just, you know, it's just a... I don't know, a line maybe? No, it's got a little bit more to it than that. And it is lined with a whole nother layer, which makes things lay nicely. It's like back in the day when we wore slips. <laughs> and it just ties around it. The tie's probably all wonky. It does have a zipper. I didn't do that. I just put it over my head. And uh, yeah, it's got nice sleeves. This is super cute. If you could wear this color, you would definitely have to you know, either be comfortable showing them or do something here. Yeah, and I'm not even wearing a great bra today. So, yeah, you can imagine if I had a, a bra that yeah, had a little more support, I'd be like, air, <laughs> air. Yeah, so that is it. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get out of these shoes. <laughs> That's. That's a lot of hill for someone that everyone, all my friends and family know I'm a, me as a klutz. That's a lot of heel for me. Yeah, if it was here, maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right, those are my items. I'll be right back and tell you what's going to go on the hanger and what's going to go back to trunk club. I always say, back from a hot try on. Don't I always say the same thing? Yes my trunk over here so I can drop stuff in it. I got a couple of hangers here to put the things on I'm going to keep um, before I start that process. Think in your mind, what would you keep if you were me after seeing them on? <laughs> All right, so the first item up are the shoes. They're a draft trap for me. Um, I think they're, they're cute. They are, this is a rubbery uh, material. Um, I would probably prefer something that was more like um, jute or rope or something I think would be super cute but this makes them a little bit dressier I guess but yeah I they're just too dangerous for me I think I would fall in them so where are they they are $130 so I'm gonna pay $130 to break my neck <laughs> all right so first item in the trunk next item is the dress and the reason it felt a little tight around the midsection is this is a size 18 so medium, it says medium and 18. And uh, which saved me from having to decide if I wanted to keep it because I don't really think I look good in these muted colors. Yeah, I'm just not a muted color person. 
I need a pastel where it's, um, you know, had white added to the color, the base color, not brown or gray or black, whatever it is they add to the muted ones, um, or a clear color even, but not muted. But it is a lovely dress, nice quality. It's linen. Uh, yeah, it probably end up with the wrinkles around the midsection when you sat down or wore seat belts or something, but it is cute. I liked it going back. They call it the Nouveau Linen Blend A-Line Dress in Red for $129, but the tag says rose, and I say rose. That would be my husband would call that red. <laughs> All right, so next are the Perfect Vintage Wide Leg Jeans by Madewell. Yeah, they, um, they're too heavy for me for Florida. I don't really need a lot of denim, but I think they're just a little too heavy. And I would like these more in the clam digger length. These are long on me, which surprised me. I don't know that they came in a long. They could have. It just says blue 20W, $128. Yeah, I'm going to pass on these. They're cute. I like them, but I think they're a little heavy, a little too much for Florida. Next is this wraparound top, which I thought would look better on than it does. See, it is, it is by Halogen. I have to find that to find it on here. The writing on these things are so little. All right, so it's called the Wrap Top in Ivory. See, that's another thing. I prefer white. Although this wasn't a bad ivory. What do you think? I had a smudge on my glasses, darn it. And it is $49. Yeah, I would not pull for this for $49. I'm not sure that I would value this at $49. Like if, if it had fit really well and stuff, I might. I don't know. It's very t-shirt material-like, so anyway in the box. All right, so next are the ivory jeans by Madewell. And do they call these white or do they call these ivory? They call these white. They're $128. They're not white. They're more, I guess, winter white. Yeah, that's the term. Maybe winter white. Yeah, I think they're cute, but they are a complete misfit on my body. I don't think I have ever kept any Thing by Madewell except maybe one t-shirt just a plain white v-neck t-shirt I think I have hot mini yeah the poor poor mini she's terrorized by the the other dog um well that might be an overstatement but she likes to hang around me for safety she didn't want him messing with her she's not mini is not um really that socialized you know she lives with a uh, a senior couple in a mobile home park and they walk her a bit so she really doesn't see many people and other dogs so yeah so having another dog here and especially one that's so rambunctious and a little aggressive it's a you know, I try to give Minnie lots of me time and lots of treats and stuff so anyway she's very vocal so don't don't think she's in distress when she's making that noise she's very vocal all the time all right, so this was the curvy perfect jean. Very cute for somebody, not for my curves. Wrong, wrong one. <laughs> so in the box. All right, so next is this top. And this is the, um, definitely a polyester top. Nothing that I, you know, if I was working, I might consider this with the blazer and stuff, but I just don't see myself wearing it. It does have one little button in the back with the elastic closure, so, it, and I had to undo that to get it on and off, and so that was a little bit of a pain, but, you know, not that big a deal, I guess. Um, it is $69, I believe. Let me make sure the brand, yeah, $69. Again, I think that this is kind of a medium I think it's about a medium quality polyester. It's certainly not a low quality. Maybe it's a higher one, but anyway, certainly something you could probably find at TJ Maxx for less. You know, I didn't look on my phone. I didn't bring it in to see if any of these things are marked down. They could be. All right, so next is the cut from the cloth of jeans, or shorts. I really do like them. I thought the fit was good. I don't need them because I just bought two new pair. Um, I'm going to set these aside. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't care. I could wear, you know, I got lots of, um, denim jean or er, shorts, you know, um, so I don't know why I feel any different about having white denim versus blue denim white, but there's more of a limit on white than there is blue. All right. So I'm just going to set those aside for now. Then I have the Madewell top. I just feel that this top wasn't flattering to me and is kind of big for me and 
Part of the reason it's not flattering, it has those dolman sleeves, which just, I just, they don't look that great on me. Again, I don't know, me and Madewell haven't done that well together. Um, what did they call this? Oh, right. It's the uh, Plus Courier Ouch Pentuck Black Shirt and Textured Window Pane. $75. They say it's in pink, but it's not. Maybe it had a pink version. That would have been interesting. But again, this, you know, this kind of um, rusty color, it's kind of a muted color. Just again, not great on me. So anyway, in the box, yeah, I think the price was a little high. Okay, so this is, you know, a cute city chic dress. Like I said, I've had it before. I would say out of the two or three times I've had it, I think this is probably one of the nicer qualities as far as the fabric goes. And uh, yeah, if I was still working, I might be tempted. It's, you know, got a nice modesty plate here for, for like work and stuff. So I do like it, but I don't need this dress. I just, you know, I don't need this dress. And if I wanted to, you know, get a couple new dresses, add them to my wardrobe, get rid of some I had, um, I don't know that I would go with this one because I've had it before. It's been around a while. Yeah, it's $99, so it's not a bad price for the dress. It has a lot, a lot of um, detail to it. All right, so the last dress I have here is this white, who is this by? Oh yeah, 11 Honor, is that right? Yeah, 11 Honoree. It's the Amana Cotton Poplin Midi shirt dress in white, $198, which I thought looked terrible on me. <laughs> um, I have worn this type of dress before, like in the late 70s, early 80s, during the Annie Hall look kind of thing, and you know, with a vest over it. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any photos or a chair. Um, it was mint green, sort of. <laughs> I forgot what color the vest was. I think the vest was a linen, this color, kind of, kind of uh, beigey color. But anyway, um, yeah, no, it's a no. It is going in the trunk. So, did I fool you by pulling out two hangers, making you think I was keeping two items? It's really hard to think of keeping any item, uh, but I may on these, I'm undecided. So uh, my trunk was due back, I think yesterday. So I do have to make up my mind soon, but I do find since being retired, I wear a lot of shorts. So sometimes I wear them two days cause I just don't have them on that long. You know, you put on a swimsuit or, you know, get dressed when I go out, hang out in lounge, you know, whatever. So, but yeah, I do like these. I thought the fit was pretty good and, you know, yeah. Thanks so much for watching the video. I do hope that you will give the video a thumbs up. Uh, and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you will. And if you are a subscriber to the channel, thanks so much for coming back and for supporting it. Um, I don't make a living off of it, <laughs> but I still appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.